Alpha Omega ancient of days that I give you praise. Lord, I want to thank you for your faithfulness. Lord, I want to thank you for your power, for your glory. I ask, O oh God, that everything that will be done on this holy mountain, Jehovah, let it be in line with your plans, with your purpose, with your will for our life and for the life of everyone that you're bringing onto this holy mountain, Adonai, in the name of Jesus Christ. Eternal rock of ages, beginning and the end. Father, I'm asking for your power to flow. Daddy, I'm asking for your grace to be seen. On this holy mountain, faith clinic and healing atmosphere, Daddy, in Jesus' name, I reveal your name, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. I reveal your name, Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, Daddy, do what you alone can do. Adonai. Do what you alone can do, else you die. Do what you alone can do, beginning and the end. Take all the glory, take all the honor, take all the praise. And let your name alone be honored and glorified. I give praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Adonai. Be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I want to welcome everyone. Jehovah is here. His presence is here. The glory of God is here. It's going to be a very wonderful day in the presence of God. Wherever you may be, please, in Jesus' name, <coughs> excuse me, get set to worship God in a very powerful way. Hallelujah. There is a word for somebody. The anointing is here. The power of God is here to set somebody free, to establish, and to increase. Somebody under the sound of my voice, everything is working for your good. Everything is working for your good. Everything is working for your good. That is what my God is telling me. Everything is working for your good. In Jesus' name, so shall it be. The power of God is here. The mercy of God is here. The glory of God is here. In Jesus' name. Please, I will need you wherever you may be. Join us to win even one more soul. As the Lord has sent us to win unto the kingdom of God billions and trillions of souls. But it all starts by just winning one soul. So, kindly share the broadcast on your wall. Share in a group or in groups. And please, all you need to do is just let the will of God be done as the Lord leads you. You can also launch a watch party as the Lord is leading you. All we just want to do is bring one more soul, one more soul into the kingdom of God, one more soul to have a relationship with God Almighty. Praise God. On this mountain, faith clinic and healing atmosphere is our tradition to worship the Lord with a three, with three P. And that three P is praise, preaching and prayer. So wherever you may be, get set to join the apostle as we honor God with praise, preaching, and prayer on this mountain. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Wherever you may be, please join me. Let us praise God. It's time for us to praise him. Hallelujah. It's time for us to praise him. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Praise him. Okay, my God is one God that I know that he is faithful till the end. And I want to believe that you know this about your God also, that he is faithful till the end. So wherever you may be, hold on to what the Lord is saying today. Join me to praise him very powerfully because he is faithful till the very end. I know him and I know everyone that is here will testify that indeed God is what is faithful till the end. Praise God. Okay, my God is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than what we can ever imagine or think. I would like to remind somebody, double, 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 there's grace for double blessing. Are you ready? Are you ready? Thank you, Jesus. My God is good. My God is good. Child. My God is good. Everything that double, 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 double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. double, double, double. Oh, that double, 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 double. That double, double, double. That double, double, double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double, 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 double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double, 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 double. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double, double, The morning when I wake up, I will sing your praise to you, Yahweh. Oh, oh, oh. 
love to play that song one more time I can see those who understand the faithfulness of God going all the way with the apostle it takes somebody that has come a long way with God and someone that has seen the beauty of God to appreciate the rema in this song God is too faithful he's faithful till the very end the message of today is specially for somebody. And I know this is one message you will not forget in a hurry. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because God is too faithful to forget you, to forget me, to forget us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you. All those who are worshipping God, I just want you to know, God is receiving all the glory, not man. God and your God is 
And I thank God for the privilege that we can lift up praises unto God in the land of the living. So let's start by saying thank you, Jesus. And start to plead the blood. Please plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood of Jesus. Somebody plead the blood. Plead the blood with me. You know that is how we do it on the mountain by the grace of God. We start by pleading the blood of Jesus Christ and we ask the Holy Spirit to take control and to take over. Somebody join us to plead the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the precious blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. Join me as we plead the blood, the blood, the blood. Join me as we plead the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Rekaba gadala gadala ba. Masan daraba etrele ke telio. Reka gadala bos. Ozane ekalie. Rebare matosika. Ondrele edali andalie. Ondrele edali andalie. Rekala bala dala gabatelio. Rekaba la gadala gabatelio. Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood. Mare dalio zika. Ebratelie. Masha gadala gadala gaba. Plead the blood with me right now. Rebale. Eza gadalios. Moprakonzi. Jele ebaradali. Plead the blood, plead the blood with me. Maradala gadala gaba. Zeke telebo. The power of God is here. The glory of God is here. Hallelujah, Lord God. Mariba. Zeketelio. Ruba gadala gadaya gaba. Meseketelebo. The blood speak. The blood speak. The blood speak for you, for you, for me. Manda katosa. Bele ketelimo. Ye ketelebo sikaba. Mare delebo sikaba. Ye bra konzo. Somebody plead the blood. Plead the blood. I know what I'm talking about. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Don't be distracted. Mareke delebo. Ye la brake zatali. Hallelujah. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Mare bake telimos. Hallelujah. Mareke telimos. Thank you, Jesus. Put in your prayer. Put in your prayer. Prayer. Put in your prayer mandate. Put in your prayer mandate. In the name of Jesus Christ. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Something is happening in the spirit. When we plead the blood, a lot is happening. When we plead the blood, something is happening. Hallelujah. The blood is speaking the faithfulness of God over your life. The blood is speaking the faithfulness of God over your children. Somebody join me. Plead the blood. 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 Yea. Maragatebos. Ozalagadalagaba. Plead the blood. Plead the blood. Magadalagadalaba. Magadalagadalagaba. Jerebatelion zikatalie. Even in the grave, male bratonzi, ele gadalio zikatalie. Plead the blood, plead the blood. Today we are just pleading the blood for now, please. That's how the spirit is leading, putting your prayer mandate, plead the blood. Plead the blood, plead the blood. Me kare dele gedele wo. Rubare natelie zala keteli mo sika. O rabba baba shandele gedele wo. Mo rabba eteli o la gadalie. He's the Lord. Please plead the blood, plead the blood. I will explain very soon. Plead the blood, plead the blood. Focus, plead the blood. I will tell you very soon why we are doing that. Hallelujah. Zegedelio salikantalie. Zegedelio balikozitalie. Plead the blood, plead the blood. Mare de lebosi. Regadala gadala boks. Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood. Mande calibro zatalios. Manga libro zakatalio. Rebare ketelimo sikaba. Holy Ghost, take control, take over. Somebody judge me. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take control, take over, take over, take control. Yella gaba baba ba. Red gaba baba ba. Tell him also kaba. Red gaba baba ba. Plead the blood, plead the blood. Judge me, say Holy Ghost, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. Take over, take control. Yella ke tellie. My spirit, praise your name, Adonai. My spirit stand in the gap and says, You are worthy of my praises, O oh Lord. Mare Gadalaba. Zika. Death could not hold him captive. We are pleading the blood for the power of death to be broken. The power of death to be broken. You see, the remaining days for this year, in Jesus' name, you shall not die. None of your family members will die. Whatever God has kept under your care shall not die. Your business will not die. That's why we are pleading the blood. For the blood to speak the covenant of God over our lives. For the blood of Jesus to speak the covenant of God over our life. In the name of Jesus Christ, you shall not die. You will not die. Hallelujah. You will not die but live to declare the glory of the Lord. Somebody join me. I shall not die but live to declare the glory of the Lord. Somebody, Holy Ghost, take control, take over. Holy Ghost, take over, take control. 
Holy Ghost, take over, take control, take control, take over. In the name of Jesus, Reketelio Saka, Rabba Baba Ebra Lagadarabo. Somebody join me, plead the blood, plead the blood, say Holy Ghost, take control, take over. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yella Kebro, Zale Ketelie. Yella Kebro, Zaketelebo. Riba Baba Dele Ketelie. Thank you, Adonai. I worship your name. For that, for that could not hold him captive. Zakatalios. Somebody join us start to say, Holy Ghost, activate the keys for us. We talked about the keys being given to the church in Matthew chapter 16. Matthew 16 verse 19. Somebody join me and say, Holy Spirit, activate the keys for us. Activate the keys for us. We want to make use of the keys that have been handed over to us by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, activate the keys. Activate the keys, the power of the word. Activate for us such that as we bind today it will be bound in heaven as we release here on earth it will be released in heaven oh lord activate the keys for us and one of the keys we are using is to bind the spirit of death is to bind the spirit of failure is to bind the spirit of setback is to bind the spirit of pain is to bind the spirit of shame somebody join me let's start to bind we are binding one, we are binding very clearly and very powerfully. Spirit of death, spirit of death, spirit of the grave, the power of the grave. Somebody join me to bind the power of the grave. Power of the grave. Even in the grave, Jesus is Lord. In your life, in my life, Jesus is Lord. In every circumstance you're going to lift up before the Lord today, Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, Proverbs chapter 26. Proverbs 26, verse 27. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's start with Proverbs 26, verse 27. We have very limited time in this session, but I want to believe God will use us mightily. Okay, Proverbs 26, 27. Where, 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 where is that? Hallelujah. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Proverbs 26, 27. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Whosoever diggeth a pit shall do what shall fall therein. Whosoever diggeth a pit shall fall therein. He that rolleth a stone, it shall return unto him. Period. Hallelujah. Whosoever diggeth a pit. Whosoever diggeth a pit. Who is that person? Somebody join me. As we start to say Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost power upon any pit. Anyone that has dug a pit for you, anyone that has dug a pit for us. Any pit that is waiting for you and me, Jehovah, whoever has dug that pit, whoever has dug that pit, if they will not repent, Holy Ghost take control, Holy Ghost take over. Very simple prayer, but very powerful. Holy Spirit take control, take over. Everyone, anyone that has dug a pit for you, for me, in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Ghost take control, Holy Ghost take over, Holy Ghost take over, take control, in the name of Jesus Christ. Every pit dug for you, business wise every pit dug for you maritally every pit dug for your children every pit dug for your spouse dug for your future every pit jehovah somebody join me in the name of jesus christ every pit that has been dug for you that has been dug for a family member that has been dug for anyone holy ghost fire holy ghost power Holy Ghost fire power. Holy Ghost power fire. Somebody join me. Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost power. Return back to what? Return back to sender. Oh yeah, somebody join me. Return what? Return back to sender. Any pit that have been dug for you. Any pit that have been dug for me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Any pit. Every pit. Jekata. Malibrake. Mason Talimoso Kaiba. Orababa. Any pit. Every pit that have been dug for you for me. Holy Ghost take over, take control. Holy Spirit, take over, take control. Holy Spirit, take control, take over. Every pit in Jesus' name. Everyone responsible. Everyone, anyone responsible for that pit that have been dug. If they will not repent. Ah, if they will not repent in the name of Jesus Christ. If they will not bow to the Spirit of God. Oh Lord, show your faithfulness. That's another way to pray that prayer. Oh Lord, show your faithfulness. Oh Lord, show your faithfulness. Show your supremacy. 
Show your power, show your glory, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, show your faithfulness. Somebody please jo join me. Join me as we pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Join me. Anyone that is digging a pit for you. La Katal. Zeketelimo. Hora Bababa. Oh Lord, if they will not repent, let them replace us. Let them replace anyone, everyone we are standing in the gap for. Whosoever has dug a pit. Whosoever has dug a pit. In Jesus' name, they must replace us. Oh yes, they must replace us. Hallelujah. They must replace us. Jacateli Bantali. Rekabale Kreketelio. They must replace us. Anyone, everyone. Everyone, anyone that is digging a pit in the name of Jesus Christ. Is there somebody throwing a stone? Are there words being spoken over your picture? Are there words being spoken over your life? Are there words being spoken over your family? Are there stones being thrown in the spirit realm? Oh Lord, let the stone return back to sender. Let the stone, ja, ga, 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 ga. let the stone return back to sender in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the stone return back to sender. Shale bracket elimo. Shale bracket elimo. Let the stone return back to sender. Let the stone return back to sender in the name of Jesus Christ. Whosoever has dug any pit and do not repent for such action will in Jesus name fall into that pit. That is what the scripture says we are not cursing. That's what it says, Proverbs 26, 27. And that's what we are praying with in Jesus' name. I see God paving way for you. I see God making the way for you. I see God paving way for you. Every vision, any vision, every vision, any vision, every vision that is not complying to the will of God, any vision, every vision, not complying to the purpose of God for you, for me, Holy Ghost fire pull down. Holy Ghost fire pull down. Holy Ghost fire destroy. Holy Ghost fire pull down, destroy. Every stone return back to sender. Who is that person playing, praying, praying, praying on the mountain? Who is that person calling upon the name of God? Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost power. Return the stone back to sender in Jesus' name. Return the stone back to sender. Have they done anything for your business to crumble? Oh Lord, show them that you are Lord. Oh God, show them that you are God. Oh God, show them that you are you are faithful in my life. That's why we started with the word, you are too faithful to fail me. Daddy, you are too faithful to disappoint me. God punish the devil. Hallelujah. <coughs> you are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to disappoint me. Everyone that is digging any form of pit around you, oh Lord, they will replace me, they will replace you. Right inside that pit, they will replace us. Anyone and everyone, everyone and anyone, Jehovah, that is throwing a stone, picking your picture and speaking, picking an item that relates to you, an item that has touched your body. Oh, in Jesus' name, oh Lord, Holy Ghost fire, arise. Holy Ghost fire, take over, take control. Holy Ghost fire, arise in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, increase me. Let me tell you, when God chooses to increase you, you will outgrow your enemies. You will outgrow them financially. You will outgrow them emotionally. You will outgrow them in every sense. Oh Lord, increase me. I hear that God wants to increase somebody on this mountain. Somebody had a, a counseling session. Somebody had a discussion with the apostle today. Look, that person, I'm saying, pray to God today. Say, Lord, increase me. Look, success in life, increase in life. Promotion in life come not from east, nor west, nor south. God is the judge. Lord, increase me. And God will honor you beyond what you can imagine. This will be your song. This will be your song. I did not know, I never knew, Lord, that you will honor me this way. When God is true with you, increase me, oh Lord. Don't pray for somebody else yet. Pray for yourself. Lord, I need your increase. Increase me. Increase me, oh Lord. So that I can say, I did not know you will honor me this way in this same year. In this same year, I did not know. If I was told, I would not even believe it. If I was told, I would not even believe it. Oh Lord, I never had an idea that you had something like this in mind 
for me. Somebody tell the Lord, increase me. Increase me. It's your turn to testify. It's your turn to say so. It's your turn to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let all those who are monitoring. Let all those who are watching. Let those who are peeping to know what is going on. They will wait forever. Because what God is doing is not what they can catalambano. What God is doing is beyond what the physical eyes can easily see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of us are already sharing testimony. Some of us, it has translated into physical. Hallelujah. A lot of people tell the Lord, increase me, O Lord. Increase me in all realm, in all realm, in all ramification. Increase me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will honor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. You will honor me this way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lord, increase me. You can now pray for your son, pray for your daughter, pray for your wife, pray for your husband, pray for communities. Oh Lord, increase us. That increase that will stagger the pit of hell. That increase that will make my enemies to be confused. Increase me, oh Lord. Daddy, rebrand me, oh Lord. Increase me and rebrand me. Rebrand me for your purpose. Rebrand me for your purpose and for that which you have intended before the foundations of the earth were laid. You will honor me this way. Shaka Talibur. Thank you, Jesus. Rakalebra Ladalibo. Ibarosi. Oh Lord, increase me. Somebody, I see God increase you in every realm. Before this year ends, I'm not talking about all, uh, next year. This year, you, there will not be a carryover. Somebody join me. Every stone that is thrown at you to reduce your success, to reduce your testimony. Bible says that God has opened a door before you that no man can close. A door that no man can close. Oh Lord, I await your breakthrough. I await the manifestation of your breakthrough in my life. Manifestation of your breakthrough in my life. I await, oh Lord, I await. I await, oh Lord, manifestation of your breakthrough in my life. Manifestation of your breakthrough in my life. I await, oh Lord, the manifestation of your breakthrough in my life. Jagadalimo Sikaba. Rekan de Lebantalio. The manifestation of your breakthrough in my life. I await it, Jehovah. I await it first and the last. I await it beginning and the end. Manifestation of what? Your breakthrough in my life. Hallelujah. Reken delicadalabos. Reken delicatalios. O bare ekalimosi. We were praying with Psalm 126 from verse 1. Torn again captivity. Somebody let's join faith with everyone on the mountain struggling with one thing or the other. Let's join faith with anyone and everyone struggling with one particular prayer mandate or the other. Join us to start to say, Oh Lord, overturn every captivity. Bring about increase. That's it. Overturn every captivity. Bring about increase. Overturn every captivity. Bring about increase in the name of Jesus Christ. Overturn Adonai. Overturn El Shaddai. Overturn Jehovah. Any form of every form of captivity and bring about increase bring about increase bring about increase bring about increase hallelujah bring about increase i come with a sure word for somebody that is weeping and i will show you very soon that your weeping has a correspondence in heaven your weeping your crying your prayer mandate everything you're lifting up to god almighty there is a there is a correspondence in heaven God has opened a particular correspondence for all your tears, for all that you're decreeing, for all that you're saying. There's a correspondence God has opened. It is, it is, it is active as I'm speaking right now. Yes, it is active. And one of what God will do is to bring the increase that will turn around or destroy captivity. It's one of it. 
because of the correspondence, because of the correspondence, the way Isaiah chapter 56 verse 8 puts it, it says that God is collecting your tears in, in a bottle, in his bottle. There is a correspondence. God has a record of your tears. Hallelujah. Psalms chapter 86. Psalms chapter 86 verse what? Verse 3. Psalms 86 verse 3. Hallelujah. Psalms 86 verse 3 says, Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Daily. Be merciful unto me, Jehovah. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. And some people know how to cry to a man. They know how to cry for men to see their tears. But I have been sent to somebody whose tears is directed to God. We were specifically talking about somebody that has given themselves in, into prayer. Psalm 109 verse 4. David was saying, when I gave good, they returned good for evil. When I showed them love, they became my adversaries because I loved them. How can you love somebody and then they turn around to hurt you? Just, just before I came to the broadcast, someone is sharing a testimony that happened this same year of showing so much love showing so much trust and confidence and yet the person turned around to hurt it's so sad it's so sad to even think of the capacity to think of the office God has entrusted in the hand of that person and of course with that office you want to trust such a person and that person turned around and paid good with evil but Bible say, David said, I put myself, I gave myself unto prayer. I gave myself unto prayer. Look at the way he described the kind of prayer he prays to God in Psalms 86, verse 3. The one we saw yesterday was Psalm 109, verse 4. Psalm 109, verse 4. Now look at the one that he's talking about in Psalm 86, verse 3. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily daily consistency daily for one day i never shifted my my confidence and trust i never shifted my cry to appeal to a human being my cry is 100 percent on daily basis dedicated and channeled towards you adonai i am sent to those kind of people whose prayer is channeled to god and not man Shout now to God and not man. See, the evil that was done to this person as this person shared this wonderful testimony with me. The evil that was done to this person. God still came back and still fulfilled his purpose and his faithfulness. This is, by this time this person is sharing with me, everything that person thought of or prophesied is a reality today. Even though the other person paid evil for good. But God is faithful. He is too faithful to leave you. He is too faithful to leave me. Somebody, listen. I will explain this prophecy. But if you can only trust me for one minute or two. Just prophesy with me. I know these days it might sound somehow what I'm about to say. But I will explain it from the scripture. You will understand. Somebody please prophesy. Say I will eat the fat. As in fat F-A-T. Fox trust alpha tango okay i will eat the fat i will eat the fat it's the same prayer we pray from the beginning oh lord increase me look let me tell you sometimes the way god destroys captivity is to increase you sometimes the way god destroys curses is to bless you that's it god doesn't focus on the curses god just bless you so much that curses dies inside your blessing he just blesses you so much that curses die inside your blessing that's it. God doesn't even bother himself. He just increases you. He increases you so much that captivity loses its hold. I'm going to give a perfect example. He will increase you so much that captivity will break to pieces. That's what we call breakthrough. Today I will explain that word. You will know that that word breakthrough literally means break. As in, it means honestly. It means to break. That's it. Breakthrough. You will break open. My God will so increase you. That the chains of the enemy on you and me will break open. Somebody prophesy, say, I will eat the fat. That's all. That's the prophecy. That's the message of today. I will eat the fat. 
I will eat the fat. I will eat the fat. Prophesy. Please trust me. I will show you from the scripture. You will have a deep understanding of what you're prophesying. Then we will pray a second round. But now you're praying by faith. Hebrew chapter 11. How our father prayed. Hebrew 11 verse 33. Hebrew 11 verse 34. Hebrew 11 verse 8. Our fathers, they, sub, they conquered kingdoms. Our fathers subdued nations. Our fathers closed the mouth of lions by faith. Our fathers stopped fire by faith. Hallelujah. Our father Abraham stepped out from a known land to the unknown. And the unknown land became a generational blessing by faith. The Lord made him to eat the fat. That's why. The Lord made him to eat the fat. Somebody, the Lord said, come and prophesy in Jesus' name into your life. You will eat the fat. You will eat the fat. You will eat so much fat that captivity will break open in Jesus' name. It will give way. It will give way. It will give way. It will give way. Captivity will give way. Captivity will lose grip of holding you. It will lose grip. It will lose touch. Captivity will faint. Captivity will pass out in the name of Jesus Christ. My God will so increase you. My God will so increase you. The Lord will increase you so much that captivity cannot keep you under chains anymore. Captivity will, as God is increasing you, the captivity will break open. It will break open. God will increase you, increase, increase you to break open. I will eat the fat. Fill this message in your soul. Don't listen with the natural ear. Listen with the ear of the spirit. I am speaking to somebody. Your business will increase. It will eat the fat. It will break. It will break captivity. It will break captivity. Ah, to enjoy this message, you have to start from the last two messages to come into this message. Then you will understand the rema that is coming to us. Jantelebos. Malagadalaba. Prophesy, I will eat the fat. God will increase you. He will increase you, increase you. The belt that is holding you will break open. <laughs> the chains will break open. My God will increase you in the name of Jesus Christ. My God will increase your finances. My God will increase you emotionally. Male Ketelios. The season of weeping is over for you. Yes. The season of crying is over for you. The season of anybody digging a pit for you has passed. It has expired. Whoever is digging a pit for you, they are wasting their time. They are only doing exercise. And they will refill that. They will, they will replace you in that pit. They will refill or they will replace you choose one. They will go inside or they will feel it and say it was a mistake in the name of Jesus Christ. I will eat the fat is the prophecy. So shall it be. Hallelujah. I will eat the fat. Psalms 86 verse 3. Psalm 86. Be merciful unto me. Help me to eat the fat. Be merciful unto me. Help me to eat the fat. Hallelujah. Be merciful unto me. O Lord. For I cry unto thee daily. I cry unto thee daily. I cry unto thee daily. Be merciful unto me. Let me eat the fat. Let me eat the fat. Somebody, listen. Your business will eat the fat. Your son will eat the fat. Your daughter will eat the fat. Your destiny will eat the fat of the land. In the name of Jesus Christ. And that's what we necessitate breakthrough. That's what we necessitate breakthrough. That's what we necessitate breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jeka Telemos. O Rabba Etelemo. I declare today, I enter into the spirit realm. I receive the grace of the apostolic. I decree over somebody. Your days of weeping are over. Your days of pain are over. Your days of shame are over. Your days of setback are over. Your days of impossibilities have expired. Your days of lack and want has finished. You can never lack. You can never want. Your days of begging, they are over. You will eat the fat. You will eat the fat. Jacatalaba. You will eat the fat. La Santelimos. Maregedelibosi. 
you will eat the fat. You will eat the fat. You will eat the fat. Mashantalimosi. Ibraketeli. O gale e galio. O gale e galio zantalimo. Yeladrelemo sakadeli e kadali. Mebra e deligadalios. Ropa baba baba. You will eat the fat. Somebody join me and say, My tomorrow will be greater than today. What a good prophecy. What a wonderful prophecy. Your tomorrow, my tomorrow, our tomorrow, in Jesus' name. Not by might, not by power, not according to the flesh, not according to the thoughts of anybody. Your tomorrow, my tomorrow, our tomorrow will be greater than today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The power of grave is broken. Hallelujah. The power of grave is broken. Hallelujah. Even in the grave, he remains God. His integrity is not diluted, is not polluted. Hallelujah. He still stands out for you, stands out for me. Mashande e candalios, Mashande e candalios, O Rabba Baba Liba Ketelebo, Liba Ketelemosica, E Brakele Baketelios, E Brandali, O Sali Catali, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Mashakere Balagadalabo, Mashakere Balagadalagabo, in the name of Jesus, Maregeteli e Brantalio, Maregeteli e Brantalio, Moksanteli e Kayadali, receive, receive. Confirmation in your spirit that the Lord is responding to your prayer mandate. Somebody put it in prayer. Don't put it for any man to see. Remember what we read in Psalms 86 verse 3. It says, be merciful unto me, O Lord. For I cry unto thee, unto thee daily, unto thee daily. Make sure your prayer mandate is unto God, unto God. I cry unto thee daily. I cry unto thee daily. Direct it, direct it to him. I cry unto thee. I cry unto thee daily. I cry unto thee daily. Direct it to him. Direct it to the Lord. Direct it to him. Direct it to the Lord. I cry all cry out unto you. I cry daily, 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 daily. I cry unto thee daily. Shaka talaba shekebos. Shaka talaba shekebos. Shaka talaba shekebos. I cry unto you daily. Male brande katos. Male daily, daily, daily. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see, I see somebody that God is responding unto you, unto you in a very powerful way. You're not standing in the gap for yourself. You're actually standing in the gap for somebody. In Jesus' name, I see God responding to you. Then some people are behind and wondering, when will all this disappointment end in the life of so-so and so? They are asking a question that God has already answered. They will soon see. They will soon see the response of God in a powerful way. When will this disappointment be over in the life of so so and so? That's what they are saying behind you. Ha, hallelujah. Praise God. Listen to me, man of God. Listen to me, woman of God. Praise God. The Lord in Jesus' name will have mercy upon you. Yes, you will eat the fat. That's it. All you need to do is eat the fat. Yes, you will increase so much that cap every captivity will break open. You will be blessed by God so much that curses will die inside the blessings of God for your life. That's it. Curses will what? They will die. Curses will die inside the blessings of God for your life. That's what God has in mind. Hallelujah. Somebody join me and say, my tomorrow will be greater than today. My tomorrow, your tomorrow, our tomorrow. Somebody join me. Your tomorrow, my tomorrow, our tomorrow will be greater than today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy, man of God, prophesy. Prophesy, woman of God, prophesy. Your tomorrow, my tomorrow, our tomorrow. Somebody share on your wall, share in a group, share, share, win as soul as the Lord grants you the grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, join us to win even just one more soul. Because we are given a commission to win billions and trillions of souls. But we know it all starts by winning just one committed soul unto the Lord. So join us to share. Join us to stand in the gap and win one committed soul into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Join me to say my tomorrow, your tomorrow, my tomorrow, our tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ. Your tomorrow, my tomorrow, our tomorrow will be greater than what? Will be greater than today. Will be greater than today. By fire, by force. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your tomorrow, my tomorrow, our tomorrow will be greater than today. Not by might, nor by power. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be. You will eat the fat. Somebody join me one more time and say, Lord, increase me. Lord, increase me. Another way of saying it, proverbially, the way the King James puts it is, Lord, make me eat the fat. Lord, increase me. 
Lord, make me eat the fat. Lord, increase me. That's it. Lord, increase me. Increase me so much that everyone will join me to say it can only be God. Yes. Lord, increase me. Increase me so much that everyone will do what will join me to say it can only be God. 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 God is giving a ministry unto somebody. Yesterday we were speaking about this very powerfully. So if you if you can check, I mean, check that yesterday's broadcast on the YouTube if you can. You see, God is giving somebody a ministry, and that ministry is simply called the ministry of what? Of prayer. Prayer ministry. David said, I gave myself unto prayer. I pray that you will respond to this gift of God in your life. This ministry of prayer. You will not reduce. No matter the blessing God brings in your life. I pray that you will not joke with this ministry. No matter the increase. I pray you will not joke with this ministry. A lot of people, their life depends on that ministry. A lot of things, heaven is counting on that ministry given to you. Heaven is counting on you. I pray that you will receive a new fire for that ministry. You, you Everywhere, as you're moving, you're praying in tongues. You're praying in tongues. You're praying in tongues. You're decreeing as the Holy Spirit increases you. And as He grants you the grace, according to Matthew 16, verse 19. Because the keys are given to you not to be kept. The keys are not meant to be kept. The keys are meant to be applied. The keys are given to you to be used. You have to use the key, O oh church. The church of God here on earth, the key is given to you. You have to use the key. You have to use the key. You have no excuse. You have no excuse. I, whatever you want to say right now, I want you to picture God right in front of you. Can you say it? And if you say, will God accept? Will God accept it from you? That's all you need to answer. Don't worry about whoever is talking or who is not talking. Forget about who is seeing you, who is not seeing you. Just imagine God in front of you. Whatever you want to say, can you say it and will God listen to you? I was talking to somebody very close to me and I asked the person, I said, what will you tell God? This is what me, this is what makes me to be afraid. This is what I fear. A lot of people don't fear God. Me, I fear God. I just ask, if God is in front of me now, this excuse that looks so genuine and powerful before my eyes, will God accept it as a genuine excuse? Will God accept from me? Somebody God has entrusted such great power into their hand. The power of intercession. The power of praise and the power of the word of God. I, I ask, may God increase you. May you receive grace. May you receive grace. May you receive grace. The keys are not meant to be what? They are not meant to be kept. They are meant to be used. You must use the key. Use it in the place of praise. Matthew, Acts chapter 16 verse 25. Paul and Silas, they used the keys for praise. And the angel came and opened Malagadalaba. Came and opened the gate straight away. The church out of fear and panic that James had been killed. Acts chapter 12 from verse 1. The church made use of the keys. They prayed that Peter must not die the way James had been killed. God sent an angel. My son, tell him prayer as a ministry. God sent an angel to respond to the to the prayer of the church because the church has had decided to to open up in the place of prayer hallelujah look my sunday tell you jesus says i hear i speak even paul's voice the demons say they know paul we know jesus we know acts 19 verse 15 they know the word that's coming out of his mouth even jesus said in john 15 20 if they kept my saying they will keep your word also this power is meant for you to be used. Sorry, it's meant for you to use. It's meant to be used, I mean to say. This power is meant to be used not for keeps. Don't receive the power of God and keep it. Please, don't receive the power of God and be full of excuses. There are many people still rolling on the mountain looking for that power. Funny enough, God gives it to people you can least expect. Maybe sometimes they have not even fasted. Maybe sometimes they have not even, they didn't even think of it. And the Lord said, that's the vessel I want to use. Imagine Ananias in Acts chapter 9 praying. And the Lord did not call Ananias in quote, chosen vessel. Look at somebody that was going to kill Christians in Damascus by name Saul. You imagine how God used to give power to people. So there are some people you look at them, you say, ah, this one is full of power. You know, this one commands so much aura. This... To God, they are nothing. I'm sorry to say, with all due respect, not insult. They are nothing for that time. 
Maybe God will use them for something else. It is the same sign of people you sometimes look at and say, bloody sinner, wicked sinner, first class sinner, going express to hell. This one, straight to hell. God said that one is a chosen vessel. The ways of God are not, is beyond the human comprehension. The ways of God are not, cannot be understood. Somebody on the way to kill Christian. The Lord is telling somebody who is busy praying. He says it's a chosen vessel. Go and, go, and, go and canonize him. Go and canonize him. He's a chosen vessel. My God. My God. The key is meant to be used. And thank God from the day Paul received the fire, Paul put the keys to use. Paul used the key. If you are asking for God to increase you, please get set to allow that increase flow. Yes, you cannot bottle the increase. You can't bottle it. Malachi chapter 3 from verse 10. Hey, if you bottle it, it's dangerous. Because he said you will not have room to contain it. So the only way is to be allowing it to flow. As it's coming, you are letting it go. As it's coming, you are letting it go. That's the way to survive with God. As it's dropping it, you release. It drop it, you release. It drop it, you release. That's how. That's how to handle increase from God. You cannot bottle and say, no, I don't have enough yet. Jesus. God said that you will not have enough room because that person will blow to pieces. You will eat the fat. You will eat the fat. I will show you from the scriptures what the Holy Spirit is saying. You will eat the fat. But you must let go. As it's coming, let go. As it's coming, let go. You must make use of the keys. You can't keep the keys. It's not a generational thing to keep. It can be a generational blessing, but it must be used. It must be applied. Hallelujah. It must be applied. Somebody under the sound of my voice, if any way you have released curse on somebody this year, the Lord said I should tell you repent. Just repent. Any way you have released a curse, just repent. Any way that you have said, oh God, this, this, that, 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 that. Repent. Because that's not how to use the keys. Don't use the key. The key of God in your mouth cannot function hot and cold. Jesus said so. The key of God in your mouth cannot function as hot and cold. Jesus said so. Choose one. And of course, Jesus is saying, choose the, the, the way of God, the will of God. You cannot be hopping here and there with the key in your in your mouth, with the key in your life. No. You have to choose the path of God and never turn back. Make sure your nature does not change. Somebody join me and say, oh Lord, the powers of darkness, my enemies will not change my nature. Yes, they will not reprogram me. Somebody say, oh Lord, make me not, not, make me not able to be reprogrammed by my enemy. Praise God. <coughs> If you are carrying the key of God in you, make sure the enemy does not reprogram you. Whether you say anything or not, God is interested in anything that happens to you. But they want to reprogram myself and you to turn our back against the original mind of God. May that not be your portion. Oh Lord, the enemy will not reprogram me. The enemy will not reprogram me. The enemy will not reprogram our children. The enemy will not reprogram our community. The enemy will not reprogram our spouse. The enemy will not reprogram us because we carry the keys in us. That keys can only function to the will of God, not any other will. Yes. Not for anything. Some people want to prove, don't prove anything. Some people want to show, don't show anything. Some people just let God come through for you. Hallelujah. Everything you're doing, make sure when God appears, you do not hide like, like Adam, you know, hid himself. Make sure you do not hide. Make sure it's something that you can come out and say, Daddy, what you asked me, I've done. In Jesus' name. Let's round up as we say tomorrow will be greater than today as we round up this session straight away. Hallelujah. Tomorrow will be greater than today in Jesus' name. By all means, by all means, by all purpose, by all means, by all purpose, tomorrow will be greater than today. Not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of the Lord. My tomorrow, your tomorrow, our tomorrow. Share Ketelio. Oh Rababa Endre Keteli Makan Talimo. Your tomorrow by tomorrow, our tomorrow will be greater than what will be greater than today. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be. I soak every prayer coming into the house with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Daddy. 
Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you for men and women of God on this mountain. Thank you, O God, for your reverence. Thank you, O God, for giving us the grace to reverence you on this mountain. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give you praise. We honor you. We give you praise. We honor you. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. Lord God, we honor you. In Jesus' name, we have decreed. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Type in the scripture. God bless you, everyone. Putting in prayer. Putting in prayer. Prayer. May God who see in the secret openly reward you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I appreciate everyone that God is using in any and every capacity to share the broadcast, to strengthen the work of God. I want you to know that you are doing the work of the ministry. I, I believe God is using us to bless souls and to affect life positively. And you are about a good work. And may God who see the secret openly reward you in Jesus' name. Somebody please type the word, eat the fat. That's the word God has given to us, the code for today. Eat the fat. So for some people, it's a command. For some people, it is getting their consciousness to that word. Eat the fat. It simply means increase. Uh, we said it already. We are saying, Lord, increase me. Eat the fat. But I'll be explaining. Okay, so I've, I've told you, it's, it's like a proverbial word of saying increase. Increase. Blessings. Eat the fat. I will explain later on from the scripture. Eat the fat. Somebody prophesy, you will eat the fat. You will eat the fat of the land. You will eat the fat of the land. You will eat the fat of anything you get involved in. You eat the fat. You will eat the best part. You will eat what is, what is the original mind of God for you. Praise God. I know you people, I know that God speaks through you. So I'm going to hear your own view very soon. But please type the word, eat the fat. Hallelujah. Please type the word, eat the fat. The, eat the fat, as in F-A-T, fat. Eat the fat. Hallelujah. Maragadalagaba. Command your body. I command my body to obey God. I command my body to eat the fat. I command my body to catalambano blessings, catalambano increase, catalambano expansion. Come on, eat the fat. Jabez commanded his, his body, he commanded God, he said, enlarge my coast. I want to eat the fat in the land. Hey, Jehovah, double, double for somebody. Eat the fat. Somebody is tired. No more grumbling. No more setback. No more pain. No more shame. No more embarrassment of any kind of any type. Yes, no more pitying upon pity. You will pity other people because you will eat the fat. You will have more than enough. I said that captivity will fall into your increase and die inside your increase. Captivity will break open. Pow! Because of your increase. It will break open. The captivity that is holding for several years, for several generations, because God is increasing you to break open. That's what we call breakthrough. Eat the fat is breakthrough. Break through, break open, break through. God punish the devil. Eat the fat. Eat the fat. Ne can shan talimo. Eat the fat. Naleke daliba. When a, when a woman married, eat the fat. She, you know what that means. Very soon she's going to give back to either male or female or twins. Eat the fat. Increase the house. You brought, you brought in one glorious daughter of Zion into the house. Very soon, the house will be filled with several people. Because she will eat the fat and she will multiply. She will multiply and fill everywhere. God punish the devil. Hallelujah. Such grace. Somebody, your business starts to eat the fat. Your family starts to eat the fat in Jesus' name. Between now and the end of the year, I said that God will not bother with the curses that is disturbing you. God will so bless you. It will bless you. Curses will die inside your blessing. You will not survive. They will die inside there. God punish the devil. God will not bother himself with devourer. God will open the windows of heaven. Go and read that Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. He will open the windows of heaven and pour you out blessing. Devourer will die inside because it's more than enough. They will eat and eat, 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 eat because they cannot take their eyes away from the blessing. They will eat until they will die there. They will become fertilizer inside that place for the increase. God has brought for you. God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. <laughs> Somebody is responding to the apostle. Punish, punish, punish. God punish the devil. Hallelujah. Eat the fat. Prophesy it. I will show you from the scripture and I'm telling you, you'll be glad. You'll be glad with what God is telling us on this mountain today. Command all your system. Command your chi. Command your inner being. Eat the fat. Stop complaining. Stop looking at failure. Stop looking at setback. Stop looking at anything. Stop looking at distraction. Command your spirit. Come on. 
for you shall yet praise the Lord. David commanded his soul. Why are you that cast on my soul? For you shall yet praise the Lord. Come on, command your soul. Focus. Focus. Eat the fat. Eat the fat. Come on. Eat the fat. Eat the fat, the Lord is saying. Praise God. Praise God. Somebody's responding. Punish the devil in Jesus' name. God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. Eat the fat. Let me also be blessed by God's people. Okay? So how would you explain the word eat the fat in your own way? Hallelujah. I've told you it means breakthrough. I've told you the way the Holy Spirit made me to understand increase. The increase that breaks captivity open straight away. That's why I call it breakthrough. Eat the fat. Increase. Eat the fat. Glory. Eat the fat. Favor of God. Eat the fat. Blessings that make curses obstinate. Blessings that make curses expire. Eat the fat. How would you explain the word eat the fat? Man of God, woman of God. Hallelujah. For you and for me and the household, he will do everything. He will do everything. Your business and your workplace, he will do everything. Plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood. Yet, Dali can tell you, he will do everything. Thank you, Jesus. When you come into the broadcast, the first thing you want to do is plead the blood, plead the blood, plead the blood of Jesus Christ and say, Holy Spirit, take control, take over in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Traffic jam blessing. Yay! <laughs> Eat the fat. Can you see what Kedia to S is saying? Beautiful word. Can you see that? Traffic jam blessings. I told you that when people start to type, I mean, you just you just be happy. You just thank God for some people. Because the way God communicates to us is so unique. Eat the fat. I like that word. Traffic jam blessings. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Beautiful word. Beautiful word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Again, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Please don't type this kind of thing during broadcast. Please don't type it. Please. Hallelujah. Please don't type this. Hallelujah. Praise God. With all due respect, please don't type this. Permit me, I'm going to take it down, okay? Please don't type that. That Please don't type that during broadcast so it doesn't distract God's people, okay? Thank you. God bless you. The Lord honor you. Okay? God bless you, bless you, bless you. Okay? Praise God, praise God, praise God. How would you explain the word? How would you explain that word, man of God, woman of God? Peredebos. Thank God you are happy. God bless you. God bless you. Beautiful word. God bless you. I am happy. God bless you. Okay, church. I said, how would you explain the word eat the fat? How would you explain the word eat the fat? Praise God. Focus, focus, focus. Somebody focus in Jesus' name. How would you explain the word eat the fat? Shake telemos. How would you explain the word eat the fat? That's where I'm up, where, where we are now. Eat the fat. How would you explain? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. How will you eat the fat? Okay, traffic job blessings. If that's all I'm getting there, that's it. If that's all I'm getting there, then we'll move on. That's fine. Hallelujah. Traffic jam blessings. Hallelujah. If that's what I'm getting here, that's fine. I will move on in Jesus' name. Traffic jam blessings. Overflow blessings. God bless you. Beautiful word. Overflow. Increase and the abundance of blessings and wealth. Thank you. When the tea. When the tailor. God bless you. God bless you. Overflow blessings. Overflowed blessings. I, I stand corrected. Overflowed blessings. Overflowed. Overflowed blessings. And then increase and the abundance of blessings and wealth. Praise God. We are looking at the word. We are looking at the word. Eat the fat. That's what we are looking at. Eat the fat. 
Praise God. Eat the fat. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Eat the fat. That's all we are looking at and we are going into the word. Increase in all areas, says Kedia to us. What an outstanding word. Increase in all areas. Increase in all areas. Hallelujah. Shareba Osake Telios. Increase in all areas. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Malekretelebo. Hallelujah. Mashantalibo Seketeli. Jeketelibo Sikaba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Paregedelegedelebo. Jere barimo sikaba leketelimo baronso tolia gadalaba etelimo haraba kataliba jeketelimo sakete in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. I'm still watching out for eat the fat. God bless you, Georgia Anavas. Shalom, shalom, shalom. God bless you. Malegedelebos. Eat the fat. That's what we are focusing on. Nothing more than that. Eat the fat. That's what God is asking me to speak about. Somebody gets it. So we've had beautiful explanation for the word eat the fat. And the simple way the Holy Spirit told me I shared with the church. Increase. Increase that destroys captivity. Period. Increase that destroys, that breaks captivity open. So I call it breakthrough. But we had somebody say traffic jam blessings. We had somebody say overflowed blessings. We had somebody talk about increase beyond in all areas beyond human comprehension praise god thank you jesus thank you jesus if you are just joining the broadcast the first thing you want to do is plead the blood plead the blood plead the blood of jesus christ and then after that you can now say holy ghost take control take over take over take control praise god now from this moment please what i need you to do is that as the word is coming please put in your prayer mandates Please put in your prayer mandate in the name of Jesus Christ. Okay? Put in your prayer mandates. Put in prayer. Put, pray in prayer. 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 Thank you, Jesus. 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 Lebra telebo sakantalie. Me shakete liba sondalie. Me shakete liba sondalie. Mareke libra toso. Or la dele ketelie, male gralaga delimosi, jeketelimo, financial breakthroughs, I see that. Financial breakthroughs, I see that. La Shanta, Ekanda, Libracosi, Metelio Calibatelie, Mashan Catelie, Bareke Delimo, Baro Conzo, Tolianga Dalie, Metralima Ebalios. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Now, man of God, woman of God, please start to prophesy that word since you now understand what that word stands for. If you understand what that word stands for, praise God. Please start to now prophesy. Start to prophesy. Start to decree. Start to declare. Start to prophesy. Start to decree, declare. Balagadema oparimo sikatelie. Mareketelimo osali brankai andalimos. Ojale keteli barakatelimo sikaba. In the name of Jesus Christ. Malagadalagadalagaba. Zagadalagadalagaba. Mereketelimosi. Medlato Sokaba. Come with me as you put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. Put in prayer, prayer, prayer. Please. Please. It is preaching and prayer. So make sure you're putting your prayer. As you start to understand that word, it's the fat. Fire your prayer. Fire your prayer. Fire for yourself. Fire for your children. Fire for your loved ones. Fire for anyone God has kept you in the gap to speak about. As you understand it, please fire the prayer. Fire prayer for your businesses. Praise God. Isaiah chapter 1. That's where the Holy Spirit said we should start from. Isaiah chapter 1 from verse 18 to 20. Isaiah chapter 1 from verse 18 to 20. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Isaiah chapter 1 from verse 18 to 20. Okay. There are certain things that want to stop people from, from eating the fat. There are certain things. So you need to take it step by step. For you to qualify to eat the fat, there are expectations from God and not man. You understand? There are expectations from God and not man for you to eat the fat. There are certain things God is expecting myself and you to put in place. Okay? Ma shantali ma ketelios. Thank you, Jesus Christ. 
Thank you, Jesus. Maragada lagaba. Zekete limosi. Ibrakete limo. Ibranda likantali. Zakete limosi kayabatali. Alpha Omega Ancient of Days, wherever you may be, join me as you put prayer, put prayer, prayer, prayer. Put prayer, 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 prayer. Man of God, woman of God. Put prayer, put prayer, prayer, prayer. Zantele Catelio. Zantele Catelio Mashake Bari. O Ladele Ketelimo Sikaba. O Rababa. I say put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. Man of God, woman of God. Put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. Please make sure your focus is on God and not man. It's very important. Make sure your focus is on God and not man. Please focus on the purpose for which we are here. Focus on the purpose for which we are here. Call upon God in spirit and in truth. Do not permit any form of distraction. God is here. Please let us focus on what God is telling us. Please let us focus on what Jehovah is telling us in the name of Jesus Christ. Please put in prayer. Please put in prayer, prayer. Please put in prayer, prayer, prayer. Please put in prayer, 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 prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Malagada lagaba. Zake telemosi. Ibrandeli e kalios. O bare ke telemosi kayaba. Re ke telemo. Male krali osi. Je ke telio zakatali. Je ke telio zakatali. O rababa delie. O rababa delie. O zale ke telemo. O barakatali e mashatalios. Put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. The power of God is here. The mercy of God is here. The glory of God is here. Please put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ. Magagagagagagaga. Magagagagagagaga. Legralagadalagaba. Jelebroso. Toliangadala. Betosi. Okay. Thank you, Daddy, for your word and thank you for your power and glory. In Jesus' name. Speak to that man of God. Speak to that woman of God. And let there be what? Increase. I prophesy increase over somebody. Let me show you that God has shown me something. That's why I came with all humility. That's why I came with all concentration to do what he has commanded us to achieve today on this holy mountain. Please come with me to Isaiah. Okay? Isaiah chapter 1 from verse 8 to 20. Come now, the Lord is saying. Come, let us reason together. Say the Lord. Do your sins be as scarlet. They shall be as white as snow, though they be red like crimson. Hallelujah. They shall be what? They will be like wool. They shall be like wool. They will be white. They will be pure. Now, before God can make you eat the fat, sin will definitely be a barrier. So the Lord invites myself and you to come and cleanse ourselves from every iniquity. It's, it's a standard. There is no shortcut to it. If you are lying, stop lying. If you are the type that keeps moving from one negativity to another, stop it. If you are the type that don't believe in God, ask for grace to believe. That is a standard. You cannot do anything about it. I, myself and you, if we must eat the fat, if we must eat the fat, then sin cannot be a topic in your life and in my life. Because Bible said that sin is a reproach to a nation. But righteousness upholded a nation. Somebody join me and say, oh Lord, every sin, any sin, confess it now and ask for the cleansing through the blood of Jesus Christ. Now, verse 19 said something and it's very important. The prophecy of today is not for everybody. It's for somebody that is willing and obedient. Look at Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Look at how he puts it this way. If ye be willing, if ye be willing, if ye be willing, ye shall, here he speaks in a clear English, not in a proverb. I have told you the meaning of eat the fat. This is it. What is the meaning of eat the fat? It's here in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. But I will show you in other places. So you will understand what the Holy Spirit is saying to us on the mountain. But it is conditional. The power that will make me and you increase is conditional. You have to obey. That's what he put in that particular Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. If you be willing, willing to surrender to God, willing to walk with God, willing to use the keys correctly, willing to koinonia, koinonia, be one with God. 
koinonia, be one with God. If you are willing, shareba katai endaliko zikatali. If you be willing, hallelujah, you will eat the good of the land. 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 It is the good of the land we are referring to as eat the fat. And I'm coming. I will soon refer to this eat the good of the land in a way that everybody would quickly identify with it very soon. Let us make progress. Somebody, let us pray. Holy Spirit, say stop there. Holy Spirit, say stop there and talk to somebody. Somebody, let us pray. Prophesy that I will eat the good of the land. And that's the increase we are praying for. Your children will eat the, the good of the land. Your children will not be used as sacrifices. Your spouse will not be used as sacrifices for this year. Eh, your business will not be one of those businesses that will be used as sacrifices this year. Your business will eat the good of the land. Your children will eat the good of the land. You will eat the good of the land. Your household will eat the good of the land. Your community will eat the good of the land. Your nation will eat the good of the land. Somebody please prophesy. Prophesy as the Spirit of the Lord leads you. Prophesy. Prophesy in Jesus' name. Prophesy, I will eat the good of the land. I will eat the good of the land that will destroy captivity in my life. I will eat the good of the land that will break captivity. That will break captivity. I will eat the good of the land that will necessitate breakthrough. That will necessitate breakthrough. Shanda I will eat the good of the land. I will eat the good of the land. I will eat the good of the land. Prophesy, man of God, prophesy. Look at that, your son that you're worried about. Look at that, your daughter you're worried about. Look at that business you're a bit worried about. And say, this business, you will eat the good of the land. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now verse 20 of Isaiah chapter 1. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 20. But if ye refuse and rebel, which is what most people often do, if you refuse and rebel, if you refuse to obey me, if you refuse to do my word, if you refuse my method, if you refuse and rebel, rebel is to revolt against an, a, a constituted authority. Is to do opposite what is required of you by a constituted authority. God is an authority in your life, in my life, and in this world. If you go against his command, that is called rebelliousness. <clears throat> but if ye refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured with the sword. You shall be devoured with the sword. Ye shall be devoured with the sword. And this is the part I fear the most. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. If you are not willing and you are not ready to be obedient, rather you are rebellious against the will of God. This is the part I fear the most. He's saying that such a person will be devoured with the sword. Will be devoured with the sword. Because he said, this is what the mouth of the Lord have spoken. This is what the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Hallelujah. Will be devoured. Will be devoured by the sword. I prophesy over somebody. You will not be disobedient. You will not be rebellious unto God. You will not be disobedient to the word of God. And that's why I say you shall not die. That's why I say your children will not die. That's why I say your spouse will not die. Your business will not die. You will not be devoured by the sword. The spirit of death will not locate you. The spirit of, you know, of grave will not locate your household. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 2. Hallelujah. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. You will not see the opposite. You will not eat the evil of the land. Verse 20 said, if you refuse and you are rebellious, you will eat the evil of the land. And that's why he's saying the person will be brought down by the sword. Let us explain that word, Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. Let us look at it in another scripture. Because I told you that the word, ye shall eat the good of the land. It means, eat the fat. But let's start to build up. Let's build up now 
to what the Holy Spirit is saying. Genesis chapter 14 verse 18. Genesis chapter 14 verse 18. It says, and I quote, And take your father and your household and come unto me, and I will give you the good of the land of Egypt. The good of the land of Egypt. Listen, though, listen very well. The good of the land. So you can see part one of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. You can see it in that Genesis 45 verse 18. As far as the book of Genesis. So that's why you, sometimes when we are confused, we go into the, into the old covenant. Because that was done practically and physically. We call it the type. You go into the type to Catalambano, the antitype, which is the New Testament. Praise God. Okay. So going into the type, which is the Genesis chapter 40, 45, verse 18. It says, and I quote, it says, and take your father and your household and come unto me. And I will, I will give. That is what we are talking about. I, it's a gift. You don't work for it. I don't need to work for it. No, you didn't get it right. Please type the correcting. Sorry if I said 14. No, not 14. I need to correct that and I'm taking that down. Permit me to take down those scriptures. That's not what I intended to say if that was what I said. I said Genesis 45. 45 verse 18. Okay, so please type again for me. Thank you. Genesis, not 14. 45. So if I said 14, it's in error. Okay. Genesis 45 verse 18 because some people will go back to check so we must make sure that those scriptures are spot on so that people who want to study can enjoy the word of God thank you so much for helping to type I know it's not easy but God who's in the secret will reward you in the opening in Jesus name so Genesis 45 verse 18 God bless you it says and take your father you know and your household and come unto me and i will i stopped at the word i will give i will give i will give it's a gift eat the fat is a gift i will give exactly what he said in malachi chapter 3 verse 10 i will open the windows of heaven and pour you out and give so he didn't use the word give, but pour you out is proverbial, is to say give. I will pour you out a blessing. That's the same thing in Genesis chapter 45 verse 18. And I will give you the good of the land of Egypt. Because they were in Egypt. You understand? So the land where you are in, God can give you the good of that land. Wherever you are located. It didn't stop there. It says the last part is where we are going in this particular chapter. Okay, so eat the good of the land is not new to us. We have seen that in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19. The new thing I'm adding to eat the good of the land, which is what is, is God asks us to prophesy. He says, and ye shall eat the fat of the land. So the Lord has introduced the word eat the fat. Eat the fat. But in this case, it's the fat of the land. There are two types of fat. There are two types of fat. When you say eat the fat, there are two types. Now, this is type one, which is general for everyone that is willing and obedient. Listen to what I'm saying. This is general for everyone that is willing and obedient. You will eat the fat of the land. The fat of the land. That's how Isaiah says you will eat the good of the land. But here he says it, the fat of the land. First, he first said, and I will give, okay? I will give you. Let me go back to that scripture. It says, I will give you the good of the land. The fat of the land is the good of the land. Nothing evil whatsoever. That is increase, increase, increase. Mega increase. Exponential increase. Integral, integral, integral increase. For those who would want to probably appreciate more using the mathematical you know expressions integral 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 it's, it's just exponential up 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 never coming down this is the kind of increase god is talking about up 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 it's just going up 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 never coming down ever ever before it will come down go and find out if any tree is growing down that's when your increase will come down go and check any animal if any animal is growing down after giving being given battle that's when your increase will come down this is what the scripture is saying is up up jeremiah said that the tree grows up and so your increase must go up god punish the devil punish 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 hallelujah
Hallelujah. You see, so the Lord has brought in that word, eat the fat. So you're beginning to understand. Somebody join me. Now prophesy. Say, I will eat the fat. But in this one, he talked about eat the fat of the land. I will show you the second type of eat the fat. When I get there, I will tell you. I promise. I will tell you. This is part one. So every part we are going to, everything we are going to be seeing will be this part one. But when I get to part two, there are two types that the Lord asked me to share on this mountain today. If you ask me to share more, I will. But today I'm sharing just two. Two types of eat the fat. So that when you are praying, when you pray using, when you pray using spiritual terms, even some demon might not understand. Except those demons with very high intelligent quotient of the scripture like the ones that told jesus christ in mark chapter 5 have you come to torment us before our time those ones have very high, high iq very high intelligent quotient of the word of god they, those demons they know they know in fact they know which one carried jesus and which one does not carry jesus according to acts 19 so they know okay so but when you use these terminologies it, the holy spirit passes it through some fire straight to the father you will eat the good of the land you will eat the fat of the land so Isaiah with Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 Genesis 45 verse 18 now I move to the second type I'm moving I told you I will tell you when I move I'm moving down to the second type of eat the fat I need to explain this if I don't explain it might not come out straight away when I read it okay praise God praise God hallelujah praise God okay I'm reading from Amplified Version of the Scripture. Let me see what the King James of it would look like. One minute, church. I have the Amplified already, you know, to share with the house. Let me just peruse the, the King James Version of Isaiah chapter 10, verse 20, 20, 20 what? 27. Okay. <laughs> hallelujah okay before i read the amplified let me read the king james okay this is the type two of eat the fat eat the fat no holy spirit say read the amplified and then go to the king james okay so okay fine let's read the holy spirit say, go to the amplified as you were going and then go to the to the king james so let's go to the amplified Okay, the amplified version of Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. Please come with me. It says, and I quote, it says, So it will be in the day that the burden of the Assyrians will be removed from your shoulder and his yoke from off your neck. The yoke will be broken. The yoke will be broken of the fat. Take note of that word, the fat the fat that's why we say eat the fat now look at how amplified puts it the yoke will be broken because of the fat now this the fat you can understand that from genesis chapter 45 verse 18 you now know what the fat means but he was talking about the fat of the land there this is another the fat this time there's no land he just say the yoke will be broken because of the fat. We need to explain that. Before we explain that, before the apostles explain that, let me show you something in King James Version. That King James Version, most of us will quote it, isn't it? Let's look at it. Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27, King James Version. It says, And it shall come to pass in the day that his burden shall be taken away from off, off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck and the yoke shall be destroyed the yoke shall be destroyed the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing now look at here it says the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing now you need to understand what is the anointing here what is the anointing it is the grace to eat the fat. I will explain. What is the anointing? The anointing is... I showed you something in Psalms chapter 109. I showed you something in Psalms chapter 109 about the countenance of his presence. 
Psalm, sorry, Psalms chapter 42, verse, verse 5. Psalms chapter 42, verse 5 from the last broadcast, I showed you something. It says, For I shall yet praise him for the help of for the help of his presence. The help, help, for the help of his presence. Let me lower this music so everybody will hear me. The help of his presence. Now, what is the help of his presence? That is the anointing. What is the meaning of this anointing? And what is the meaning of the help of his presence? The help is the power that comes upon you to eat the fat. God helping you to eat the fat. That's what we are talking about. That's the anointing. You need to understand that word. Look at how the anointing, but amplify just say because of the fat. So you need to understand how these things relate. What is the fat? What is the anointing? How do they correlate? How do they relate? Where is that point that they koinonia? Where is that point that they intersect like mathematicians would say? Where is that point of intersection? Let's see. This is the point of intersection. The intersection is Psalms chapter 42. Psalms chapter 42 verse 5. And that point of intercession is, For I shall yet praise him for the, it starts from the point, the help of his countenance. That's his anointing. The help, the help of his countenance, or you call it the help of his presence. The anointing is the presence of God. But it helps you. Help you to do what? It helps you to catalambano the fat. It helps you to eat the fat. What do we mean by eat the fat? Somebody say apostle fire. When you say apostle fire three times, I'm going to say it. Malaga dalagaba. I need to see apostle fire, apostle fire, apostle fire. Not from the same person. Three different apostle fire. La Santo Saketelie. Ibrale Gedelebos. The Lord punish the devil. The Lord punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. When I finish this, we are going to pray for about 10, 15 minutes. But that 10, 15 minutes, when you start to pray, because now you understand the rema, you will see how your prayer will change. You will see how your prayer will change. I see the first apostle fire. I see the first apostle fire. I see the second apostle fire. I wait for the third one. I see the third. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Now, I want you to take your mind away from what we are preaching right now. Take your mind away. Let's leave the preaching. We are coming back to the preaching. <coughs> Let's go to the garden. Hallelujah. Let's go to the garden. How many of us understand what I mean by garden? Don't tell me that my pronunciation is too Nigerian. No? Because I know that I'm British. Hallelujah. <laughs> punish, punish, punish. Now, how many of us understand what a garden looks like? A garden. I mean, come on. A garden. Are you with me? A garden. Praise God. People are putting in prayer, prayer, prayer. Let me take you out from the from the platform, this pla from this platform for one second. Let's go into the garden. Hallelujah. Let's go into the streets. Let's go back to the streets. Proverbs said that wisdom cried in the streets. So sometimes when we cannot catalambano the word of God, sometimes the Lord can give you answer on the streets. Let's go to the streets. How many of us have seen all these people on the streets planting trees? Planting trees, sometimes, you know, sometimes they plant, you know, palm trees and everything. Some of us, we've seen it growing up, you know, growing up and everything. You see trees being planted. Now, some of you will agree with me that in order to protect some particular very fragile tree or very fragile plant, some will put that tree inside like a container. So sometimes the container can be metallic. Some people, they will put a tire a tire, I mean tire, meaning the car, no, no, the tire, the, the tire used for cars. Sometimes they use the tire to protect, to protect that fragile plant from being, you know, from dying quickly or from being eaten up by anything. Praise God. So you notice that as the plant is growing, before you know it, that tire or the container starts to look like a choke. It starts to look like a choke for that plant. It will make mark sometimes around that plant at that point where it ends. But it never stops the plant from growing anyway. You understand? The plant keeps growing. The plant keeps growing. 
I don't know if you have observed it before. For some of us who are very careful, think back when you're growing up, think back sometimes you're going past the street, you will see that at a certain time, that tree will break. It will break that metal. It will break that metal. It might take a long time. It might give so much, you know, it might give so much mark on that tree, but after a certain time, the tree will outgrow the tensions and the strength of that tire or the tensions and the stress of that metal. It breaks it open and continues to grow. It breaks it open and continues to grow. That is all I needed to explain to somebody, okay? If you can cast your mind back or if you start to observe, you might see this thing Apostle is talking about. Sometimes they put certain things to protect some plants. I know some places they will remove the plant carefully and put it in the, in the earth. Even some, they will just plant that plant with that tin. Before you know it, it will grow, it will grow, the roots will grow, the, 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 the vine will grow and it will break that thing open. It will connect itself to the earth and continue growing. God bless you. Now let's come back to what we were reading. Let us now marry the, the book Isaiah chapter 10, Amplified Version and the King James Version. Let's marry the two using the point of intercession, which is Psalms chapter 42 verse 5. The intercession that we need in Psalm 42 verse 5 is what I was quoting earlier on. The help of his countenance. Or you can call it the help of his presence. What will this help do? The help of his presence is what King James is calling the anointing. What is this help of his presence? The help of his presence will make myself and you to keep growing. Even when we are under captivity. Now if you watch what we did on the YouTube live broadcast yesterday. You will understand captivity. That was what happened in Exodus chapter 1. Bible said that in Exodus chapter 1 verse 12. That the more the people were afflicted. The more the people grew. You see, the more they were afflicted, the more the people grew. And it annoyed, it annoyed the new Pharaoh. That why should they grow when we are increasing their burden? Why we are increasing their burden? However, the Lord said that the cry, the cry of Israel came to me. Exodus chapter 2 verse 23. I have heard their cry and I'm serious. And he was saying that he was going to deal, he was going to deal with the source of their problem. Okay, that is Exodus, Exodus chapter 2, verse 23. God said he has heard their cry and is coming to deliver them. Okay, okay, and then the same thing he said in Exodus chapter 3, verse 7 and 9. He has heard the cry, he's coming to deal with them. I'm not talking about the cry. If you want to know more about the cry of a Christian, of a child of God, just check the YouTube, the last live broadcast, you'll see that there. But I pick from that point where Exodus chapter 1, verse 12, in affliction, in body, they grew. Now, what makes people to grow is the help. That's where we are going. That is the Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 of King James. The anointing makes us to grow under affliction. The help of his presence. Because you still have life. Because you still have the glory of God. Because you, still, you are still able to praise. You are still able to pray. You are still able to read the word of God. It will keep making you to grow in the spirit. It keep making you, the help of his presence keep making you to grow. You will grow up to, and that growth that you are having is what Amplified is calling fat. That's what Amplified is calling the fat. You are getting fatter in the spirit. You are understanding the word of God more and more. You are adding more rema into what you know. You are adding more praise and worship into your mind. And you are growing, you are growing, you are growing. It will come to a point. Because of your increase in the spirit, because of the help of his presence, the help of his countenance, you will outgrow, you will outgrow captivity. Captivity will break. Pa! And that's what is called breakthrough. Hallelujah. That's what is called breakthrough. You will grow so much that your enemy cannot understand you anymore. Your enemy cannot understand. The more they are putting pressure, the more you are coming out with colors. The more you are coming out flamboyantly. The more you are coming out with beauty. My God. That's what Amplify is calling. It's calling the fat. 
eat the fat. Eat the fat. The grace for you to, even in pain, yet you are speaking in tongues. You are in pain. Let me give you a practical example of eat the fat. Look at all the pain that Paul and Silas were going through. Flogged, disgraced, and thrown into the prison. But they kept on praising God from verse 25. Paul and Silas started to praise God. They started to praise God. They started to praise God. What, did, what, what made them to praise God? It was the help of his presence. The help of his presence made them not to feel. They, their mind went out of the affliction or the captivity. They started to praise God. They started to praise God. Unknown to them, they have started to grow in the spirit. They are becoming fat. They did not know. They are becoming fat. They did not know. They are becoming fat. The next thing, the gate of the prison shook. They outgrew the prison. And the door opened. Bow. God punished the devil. In Acts chapter 12, the church was scared. The church was praying, Oh, Peter cannot die. Oh, Lord, Peter cannot die. And they did not know the help of the presence of God or the help of his countenance made them as they were praying. They did not know they were growing. They did not know that prayer was expanding in the spirit according to the book of, according to Amplify. It was getting fat. That prayer went, arranged an angel to come and bring Peter and deliver Peter to the church. God punished the devil. Punish, punish, punish. Shaka Taliban. Somebody is time for you to grow. Somebody is time for you to grow. And the presence of his countenance is what can make you grow. So much pressure on you, yet you are expanding. So much pressure, and yet you are growing. Hallelujah. Look at the pressure on Esther. Yet the anointing. The anointing made her to grow so much that immediately she entered the king said, no, Esther cannot die. Somebody, I know you understand what the spirit is saying right now. Hallelujah. We have 10 minutes to pray. Somebody, it's time for you to eat the fat. Remember that eat the fat is by the help of his presence or the help of his countenance. Psalm 45 verse 5. It is the presence of God which King James Version of Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 is called by the anointing. The yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. The presence, the help of his presence. But the help of his presence, how will it destroy the yoke? By you growing fat. Somebody you are growing. You don't know. You are growing in the spirit. Your understanding is getting deeper. Your love for God is getting stronger. Your move with God is getting more accurate by day because you're willing. Because you're willing and you're obedient. And Bible said that if you're willing and you're obedient, you will eat the good of the land. The good of the land we saw from the book of Genesis chapter 45 verse 18. The good of the land of Egypt. The Lord put it in another way. The fat of the land. The fat of the land. You cannot catalambano the fat of the land if you do not have the help of his presence. The help of his presence, which we call the anointing, is what will give you the grace to grow in affliction. The grace to expand in affliction. The grace to grow in captivity until captivity breaks open. It, the, the, the help of his presence will continue to bless you so much that ancestral causes will die inside the blessings of God for your life. I mean, Malachi chapter 3, verse 10. The Lord will give. Remember, we read the word, I will give. The Lord will give. The Lord will give or pour you out a blessing that devourers will die. Somebody's time. I eat. I eat the good of the land. Somebody prophesy. Prophesy. I have seven more minutes for this prayer session. Make sure you are praying. Don't look at anybody. Don't look at anybody. Ask for the help of his presence. Ask for the help of his countenance. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's time to expand. It's time to grow. It's time to break open. The more they were afflicting God's people in Exodus chapter 1, the more they were growing. Somebody I see you expanding. Beyond human comprehension. Beyond human comprehension. Beyond human understanding. I see you growing. Put in prayer. Put in prayer, 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 prayer. Somebody prophesy. I eat the good of the land. I eat the good of the land. 
telimosi magada la gadalaga machen telimosi i eat the good of the land mekake le bratoso mekake le bratoso i eat the good of the land masha kantosi kayaba masha kantosi kaba i eat the good of the land iladrele ebaremosi iladrele ebalimosi i eat the good of the land make sure you are prophesying we have 6 more minutes to go in the name of jesus christ the grace to obey the grace to obey, the grace to be willing and obedient. May God grant you, may God grant me. Not everyone is willing to obey and be, and be obedient. Many people are not ready to obey God in their businesses. Many are not ready to obey God in their families. Many are not, many are not ready to obey God emotionally. That's why the help of his presence is not available for them. So the yoke cannot be broken. But anyone, anyone in Jesus' name, under the sound of my voice, that is ready to be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. I didn't say so, God says so. You will eat the good of the land. 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 Five more minutes to pray this dangerous prayer. Five more minutes to pray this dangerous prayer. Maleke le brakosi kaya batali. Maleke le brakosi kaya batali. You will outgrow your enemies. Yes, you will grow so much that captivity will break open. Captivity will break open. What is that captivity in your life? Maritally, emotionally, you know, financially. Which area of your life? In the life of your children, in your marriage, in your business. It will. You will outgrow it. You will help other people. You start to educate other people. You will help other people stand. You help other people. Somebody call it traffic jam of blessing. It's time. It's only the presence of God, the help of His countenance, or the help of His presence that will make you catablambano the traffic jam blessings. Only that. Nothing else. Oh, nothing else. Nothing else. Of course, no sin. That's why we started by what confessing any and every sin, because sin is a reproach to a nation, but righteousness upholded a nation. Somebody, may the righteousness of Christ possess you. May the righteousness of God possess you. In the name of Jesus Christ, put in prayer, put in prayer, prayer. I soak your prayer, I soak your prayer, prayer. I soak your prayer, prayer, prayer with the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you, God did not say you must be in so, so, so place or in so, so, so place. That's why if you took note of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19, it said the good of the land the good of the land so find out where you are no matter the name that is given to it geographically find out if it is land if it is land then the the words of god is applicable he did not call it a specific name except in genesis chapter 45 verse 18 that's why initially he says that he says in egypt then later on he now made it general because the word of God is always you know, left at the general point of view so that it's applicable to you and me as, as you know as as needed. So the first part of it says, I will give you the good of the land of Egypt because they were physically in the land of Egypt. Then the other part, glory to God, it says, and you shall eat the fat of the land. So that land that makes it applicable to me, to you, to anybody. And the same thing you find in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 9, verse, verse 19, I mean to say, the good of the land. But then I love the way Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 puts it. The King James you need, the Amplified you need. In the Amplified it says, it shall be destroyed because of the fat. Okay? So it said, it shall be destroyed because of this. It said, the yoke shall be broken because of the fat. But you have to understand what does it mean the yoke shall be broken because of the fat? Do I need to grow fat? No. Come to the King James Version and understand when he said, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. So what is the anointing? You go to Psalm chapter 42 verse 5. That last part is the help of his countenance. The help of his presence. So the help of his presence makes you to receive grace to grow. Makes you to receive grace to catalambano the word. Makes you to receive the grace to receive prophecy. Makes you to receive the grace to understand prophecy. Makes you to receive the grace to dream like Solomon. And in the dream you are able to argue with God what you want. Or request from God what you want. Give me wisdom, knowledge and understanding to do this assignment you have given unto me. He grew so much in the physical it affected his soul. Even in the dream world he was able to enter into the ministry of prayer and pray exactly how he would have prayed on earth here. And the yoke was broken in the dream world because of what? Because of the help of his presence. The Lord said, you did not ask for gold, silver. For this, I will bless you. 
I will give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and I will bless you. I mean the help of his presence. Jacob wrestled with God because he was able to catalambano the help of his countenance or the help of his presence. Jacob said, I will not let you go until you bless me, until you make a difference, physical difference in my life. All this was happening in the dream. Man of God, woman of God, you can grow so much from this physical that your dream will be so spot on. That your dream will be like you living here on earth. You carry on in the astral world. And you are talking, conversing with God as if you are conversing here on earth. But that can only be done through the help of his countenance. That help of his countenance will make you to break the yoke. The breaking the yoke is you growing in the spirit. And when you grow in the spirit, the fat, then you eat the good of the land. I prophesy over somebody, you will eat the fat. You will eat the good of the land. In any business you are in. In any land you are located, in anything that you are finding to do, in everything that God has placed you, a general overseer or a caretaker or somebody that is accountable to God, you will eat the good of that thing. You will eat the good of the land. You will eat the good of your children. You will eat the good of your business. You will eat the good of your community. Your community will eat the good of you. Your community will not look at you and say, notorious, wanted. This person is wanted. This person is notorious. No, they will eat the good of you. You too will eat the good of your community. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will eat the good of the community. They will eat, they will eat the good of the church. The church will eat the good of you too. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Malede, meshen dalio, hozakatali, malebrakan dalimo. As you continue to pray it's my time now to lead somebody to christ the proper way if you would like to give your life to jesus christ wherever you may be stretch forth your hand towards me man of god woman of god say with me lord jesus i come before you i confess any sin every sin that i've committed knowingly and unknowingly knowing that sin is a reproach to a nation but righteousness upholding a nation today lord i confess every sin wash me clean with the blood of jesus say with me who wash me clean with the blood of jesus christ <coughs> Destroy any sin and everything through the power of the Holy Spirit. Say with me. Destroy any sin, everything through the power of the Holy Spirit. Say, I believe that Jesus died for me. He was buried for my sake. And for my sake, he was lifted from the grave. Say with me in Jesus' name, any covenant, every covenant, any vow that I've entered into or that has been entered into on my behalf, knowingly and unknowingly, may the power of the blood destroy and the power of the Holy Spirit completely eradicate. Say, I believe in my heart that Jesus died for me. He was buried for my sake and for my sake he was lifted from the grave. Say, I believe in my heart. I confess with my mouth and so I find salvation. Praise God. Whenever you may be man of God, woman of God, join me. Say, I am born again. Say, I'm born again. Say, I am born again and it is binding in the name of Jesus Christ. If you like to rededicate your life unto God, maybe you've gone a little bit away from the Lord, but you want to return hearing the word of God and understanding what it means to eat the eat the fat and you want to enjoy the help of his countenance or his presence that will never associate with any form of frivolity because he says if you are willing and obedient okay then isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 is applicable genesis chapter 45 verse 18 is applicable and of course isaiah chapter 10 verse 27 is applicable so if you want to dedicate your life say with me say i dedicate say i dedicate say i dedicate my life unto you alpha omega and it is binding in the name of jesus christ let us pray eternal rock of ages i want to thank you for every man of god woman of god that you have brought onto this holy mountain i want to thank you for the power of your word i want to thank you for the power of your presence the help of your presence i want to thank you because the yoke is broken i want to thank you because people are moving to another level another dimension of life i thank you for expansion i thank you for growth and i thank you oh god for helping us to eat the fat in jesus name alpha omega ancient of this increase your people even while they are in distress this is what makes us to increase whilst we are in distress whilst we are going through hard time while we are in captivity whilst all this is happening you increase us because of the help of your presence the help of your countenance. Father, heal every man, every woman that is ill right now. Everyone that is suffering from any form of infirmity, break the yoke in Jesus' name. Every prayer mandate I soak with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, make, oh God, your people exactly what you intended them to be before the foundations of the earth were laid. I soak every prayer mandate that has come into this house with the power and the precious blood of Jesus Christ. I soak, I soak with the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Anyone, everyone that is under the sound of my voice, the Lord honor you, the Lord bless you, the Lord lift you up, the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Every father, every mother, every boy, every girl, everyone in the hospital, prison, homes, 
everyone in isolation, everyone God is using in the front line, whether carers, whether doctors, whether nurses, whether the security agent, everyone in authority, everyone God is using. Daddy, we cover everyone with the power of the blood of Jesus Christ and we thank you for safety because we know we have safety in you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for praying along with the apostle. Thank you for hanging on till the very end. I pray that the word of today will be a reality in your life and in my life and in the life of our loved ones. You will eat the fat in Jesus' name. You will never know setback. You will never know pain. You will never know shame. You will be so blessed that curses will die inside that blessing in Jesus' name. You will so increase that captivity will lose its hold over your life in Jesus' name. Not by might, nor by power, but by the help of his presence, by the help of his countenance, which is what we call the anointing. You will be fat enough and that fat will break the yoke. It will be broken in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please, if you have not subscribed to our, our YouTube channel, please make sure you do so in Jesus' name. Press that red button and also press the bell. Now, you, before you can press the red button, you need to create a channel. If you are not having a, a, a Facebook account, you cannot see me or talk to me if you are watching me on Facebook. So for you to subscribe to the channel, you need, you, for you to subscribe, you need to have a channel. So create a channel and then subscribe. We need you to do that. It helps us to bring more quality work to God's people. God bless you, okay? Okay, so I'm able to read your comment and also respond in real time. God bless you. We had a live broadcast yesterday, so you can check out the live broadcast and some other uploads that can be of help. You need to see that broadcast and understand with this one, we just do what God asks us to do because some people can only have access to the YouTube, while some people can only have access to the Facebook. So we are trusting God until he can help us to minister on both of them at the same time. We pray that we'll get to that level. We're doing it, but things have changed. We know that with help here and there, with you know support here and there, we'll be able to do it again shortly. I prophesy in Jesus' name. Okay. But if you're watching me this time around from the upload in the YouTube, you're watching, you want to be part of the Facebook, all you need to do is type at Jumbo Isong. So at J U M B O I S O N G to the search engine of Facebook. Search and our page will come up. It's called Missionary Outreach Mountain of PPP. Like and follow it straight away, and that way you know whenever we are online and you can be part of what we're doing and when you type i'm able to read in real time also you can follow me on my profile wall it's called jumbo Isan in bracket uyuata so there also we share god bless you please be very careful a lot of people are using the name of men of god differently or you know and putting several messages you know so i'm sorry we didn't send any of them somebody put in a message on this broadcast just at the commencement of this broadcast we don't tolerate that we are here to serve god we are not here for any money or merchandise or whatsoever of course we know the gospel needs help and we need help to keep the gospel going but we give priority to what we ought to give priority to on this broadcast that's what we are instructed to do so it can only be god that's this broadcast but those god is using to help this broadcast whether to support whether to donate to share the broadcast to launch a watch party i just want you to know one truth eternity will not fail to reward you we're doing this work together and god knows those who are doing it okay god bless you god bless you i'm not doing it alone i could never do it alone everybody's playing a major role even those putting in prayer mandate people typing God knows because, in fact, some people read your comment and come to see what is going on in the broadcast. That's how powerful your comments are. And it's the truth. I love to read it. I sit back again, watch them, and read through. And even sometimes people are typing, they don't know a person is watching. I send message immediately, the Holy Spirit commands me sometimes, or call some people. God bless you. You're doing a fantastic work for God. And God who seen the secret openly reward you. I appreciate every one of you so greatly. Please permit me to sign up my usual way. God punish the devil. Punish, punish, punish. The Lord rebuke the devil, rebuke, rebuke, rebuke in Jesus' name. If you like to communicate with us so that you can be part of what God is doing on the mountain, please make, sure, make use of the number plus four four seven four three six one five. 6157604. Sorry, sometimes it gets mixed up in my mind. Okay, so plus four four seven four three six one five seven six zero four is correct. Okay, that number is active on WhatsApp. And we would like you to call, talk to us, and let's pray about whatever God is leading you to do. But if you wanted to go straight to Cash App, it is active on Cash App, and it is active also on PayPal. I live in the hands of the Holy Spirit. Do not miss tomorrow's broadcast. We are praying with a bottle of water. 
it is deliverance and healing is going to be powerful. That's what the Holy Spirit says, I believe. I live in the hands of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Shalom, shalom, shalom. My name is Apostle Jumbo Isong. I say bye-bye. God bless you. I love everyone putting in typing. God bless you. Margaret KB, God bless you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Athna FD, God bless you. God bless you. Emma K. Emma K is in the house. God bless you. Hallelujah. Georgia Anavas, I saw a glimpse of you some few minutes ago. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Negadalagaba. God bless you. Ubongobasi. Uko. God bless you. God bless you. Prince S O B. God bless you. Connie. Oh, God bless you. Margaret K B. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. S S Sands. God bless you. God bless you. Um Tekina P. God bless you. Tekina P. Patricia D. God bless you. Joe B. God bless you. Hallelujah. Valent V Kiki. God bless you. Kiki. God bless you. To name a few, quite a long list, but I appreciate every one of you. God bless you, God bless you, and God honor you. God bless you, God honor you. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you, man of God. We love you. I love you too. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, God bless you. God bless you, man of God. God bless you. Shalom, sir. Shalom, sir. God bless you. God bless you, everyone. God bless you. Have a glorious celebration, okay? Let's meet tomorrow and pray the hand of God down. God bless you. Shalom. Hallelujah.